If you spend two minutes reading the news, you'll likely to see headlines about stock prices falling or economic output decreasing. This video won't be focused on trying to predict when the next recession will happen. What it will do is help you to make sure you're ready when it does happen. So let's discuss the top things you can do to make sure your finances are in good shape if the economy falters. Number one, pay off all debt. That is a problem even when the economy is booming. But it's an even bigger problem during recessions, when you may be facing the possibility of losing your job or experiencing a serious decline in the value of your investments. If you don't pay down your debt and are only able to make the minimum payments on your credit cards, your balances can quickly balloon. Imagine getting laid off at work and seeing your debt grow before your eyes. That's exactly what you want to prevent by taking care of it now. Number 2. Cash is king. There are two primary reasons to stock up on cash in advance of a recession, and they're equally important. The first is preparing for emergencies. Emergencies can happen in expanding economies, but they tend to be more frequent in recessions. Having a well-stocked emergency fund is the best way to prepare in advance. It's one of the best strategies for preventing small financial problems returning to the big ones. If you've never been able to accumulate much cash in the past, there are several ways to make it happen. Stop buying stuff. Start selling stuff you don't need. Cancel all subscriptions or services you don't need. And make sure you redirect the savings from all those efforts into loading up your emergency fund. Number three, supplement your income. If you are truly worried about tough economic times ahead, then you need to do everything you can to insulate yourself. One of the best ways you can do that is by increasing your earnings in anticipation. If you spend any time reading personal finance blogs or personal finance articles, you'll see that there is a fever around picking up a side hustle. But don't overlook your most important asset, your current job. If you can put in a little overtime and work hard for a promotion, that may be a much more fruitful way to increase your income. Number four, keep investing. When the financial markets get shaky, people panic. Since the recent pandemic of the coronavirus, I'd see and hear many wanting to sell everything and move into cash. This was reflected in the rapid decline of the major stocks and indices. That's the absolute worst strategy and I spent a lot of time walking people off that ledge. It's understandable to want to go to cash if you're retired. But if you're still working and contributing to your retirement plan, you need to keep investing for the long term. If you've been stocking up on cash, you'll have the funds available to buy into the market. That's more important in recessions than ever because you can buy stocks at depressed prices from depressed sellers. The investment strategy that works best in a recession is to have little to no consumer debt, own cash and have the guts to buy at the bottom of the dip. Number 5. Building Intellectual Assets This is all about improving your skills and qualifications. If a recession is coming, one of the very best strategies to keep yourself relevant on the career front is to improve your abilities. That might mean getting an advanced degree, but it can also mean taking online courses or getting an important certification, anything that could help your career move forward. In the process, you may be preparing for a new job or even a whole new career. Either way, preparing in advance is the best way to avoid being blindsided by a job loss during a recession. Sixth and final one is creating a side hustle. Side hustle is a popular term, but I prefer to think of it as a side business. Under the best scenario, it's a type of business that will be earning you additional income while you're doing other things, like working your regular job. It could be an online or offline business, but it's something you'll create as a way to generate extra income and diversify your income sources. It may be that, at the beginning, you're only making a couple hundred dollars per month, but as you roll forward, you'll eventually get up to $1,000 per month. If you lose your job, your side hustle will be an important additional revenue stream. It will supplement other sources like severance, pay, or unemployment benefits. 
that if you can build a side hustle to the point where you're earning at least $1,000 per month while you still hold your full-time job, the loss of that job may give you extra time you need to turn that side hustle into something bigger. It could possibly even become your next primary occupation. Okay guys, so I know you've been enlightened, so please like, subscribe, and share, and watch out for my next video. Bye!